Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Dan and this is Vegan Food at Home. Every week I'm bringing you two recipes. All those recipes are quick and easy, delicious vegan recipes that you can try and master in your own home. You've obviously seen the title of this video, so I'm gonna stop talking, let's go. So I just want you to start by grabbing yourself an onion. And we're just gonna start to chop this up. Now with this, I just want nice long slices. But really you can chop it however you like, that's fine. I'm gonna place these into my steamer for five minutes and then we'll get on with the rest of the recipe. So into the blender first, we're gonna add some cashew nuts. So I've boiled these for 10 minutes in a cup of water and that should have reduced down to about half a cup of water in total. The great thing about today's recipe is there's not gonna be any oil inside the sauce or we're not gonna cook in any oil either. We're also not gonna be using any vegan cheeses, so no dairy alternatives, no packaged products. This is really great if you wanna stay a little bit healthier with your meals and eat more whole foods and not always go for the packaged processed products that are not so good for you. Next into the blender jug, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. So that's gonna go in there with that. Nutritional yeast is a really fantastic product to have in the cupboard at home. If you haven't come across it and you're trying to move over to having maybe more vegan dishes throughout the week, this is a fantastic product to have. It's really versatile. It makes things cheesy. It makes things taste delicious. And there are added health benefits to it as well. Do your own research. But obviously today we're using the nutritional yeast for the pure cheesy element. And before I forget, anybody who wants to subscribe to the channel that hasn't already, head down to that red subscribe button. It is free to subscribe to anyone on YouTube, so go ahead, hit the red subscribe button. You'll be supporting me and you'll be supporting the videos in the future. Add in also some lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze this lemon in like so. And with the lemon, don't forget, you can always add a little bit more later. I think I added about half a teaspoon, but let's see how that tastes and then we'll maybe add some a little bit later on. I've got a few herbs here that I wanted to add in. So I'm gonna go half a teaspoon of each of these. I'm gonna go half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. I'm gonna go for half a teaspoon of onion powder as well. And finally with the herbs, we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of dried sage as well. So. so after adding your oat milk, you'll see this goes really creamy and I've blended this for extra long just to make sure it's really, really smooth. I've also got here my pasta that I've boiled and I've also steamed the onion from earlier and I'm just gonna add this sauce straight into the pasta. And it is quite thick so you wanna just grab yourself a rubber spatula. I feel like this is my most used tool in this kitchen. Without the rubber spatula, I am nothing. I'm just a sauce wasting demon. Add in your steamed onions, and we're gonna give this a really good stir. Oh my God, this looks good. Oh. So this is a portion for two people, but <laughs> I think I might just see this all myself. Let's see. Let us see. So that should come together really, really nicely. I'm gonna give this a cheeky little taste. That's perfect. I'm actually gonna use a hot smoked paprika as well to garnish on the top of this. I think that's gonna be a perfect addition and add an extra couple of layers of spice and smokiness. I think that's gonna be really, really nice. If you wanted this to suit you as a dinner, you can always add some green vegetables. I'd quite like to enjoy this with some steamed broccoli, maybe a side salad and that sort of thing. The pasta will be fairly filling, but you can also add in a pro another protein like a soy chicken or something like that. You can add whatever you like to the dish. 
If you want to maybe give my bacon seitan recipe a try, that would be really nice if you chop those up and place that into the dish. I really enjoy bringing recipes like this one that can stay a little bit healthy but still be really indulgent. Mac and cheese, who doesn't love it? I guess that's the end of the video today. I'm gonna to place up this delicious meal and have a little bite. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave me a thumbs up, let me know how I'm doing in the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Thank you.